This is the Honda CBR650F rear passenger seat cowl, and I wanted to make a video about this because Honda's list price on this part is about $170, and that's a pretty steep price for what you get, so I thought that it might be useful for some of you to see this before you dive into either that part or one of the various aftermarket options. I just took this cowl off, and you can see that it's left a couple of scuff marks on my seat. I don't really mind it, but some might if you're not keeping it on. I do keep mine on full time. I originally purchased this cowl because I thought it would look cool in my track day photos, to be honest. And then I left it on full time because I never carry a passenger. So what you get for $170 is a three-piece plastic cowl with a little bit of rubberized stuff on the front here. So that's right. It's three pieces of plastic. And these pieces of plastic actually are fairly delicate and these clips as well as the seams on them have a tendency to break along them if you don't install it properly. And then the way this is going to interface with your seat is it has this clip that slides the back of your seat into and then it has these little side clips. So that's all that's holding this on but it actually holds it on surprisingly sturdy. So let me show you how that works. So it's not actually possible to install by just sliding over the top. And that's a good thing because it makes it so nobody can just grab it off too easily. I mean, you certainly can do that, but you run the risk of damaging it along these plastic seams right here. In particular, you can see where this is kind of uh, clipped on and off a few times and is no longer perfectly sturdy. I actually lost a little bit of this plastic clip here, but good enough for me. Let's remove the seat. little look-see under the hood what you see is my dash cam console my battery tender and then the rear camera cable coming through the back and the way that you're gonna put the cowl on is you have to open it up so that then you can from the back slide it forward and that is what helps it so that the rear portion engages the side portion engages but it doesn't require this opening motion which is really where you're apt to crack it if you're not careful so at this point, you can just reinstall your seat like you can normally, and then it holds on there tight. Yes, it definitely looks cool. Does it look $170 cool? I'll let you be the judge. I'll do a quick zoom here where it attaches. So that's that rear clip where it grabs under the back of your seat. The side clip right here, which it's possible to manually disengage, but is not good for the seams of the upper cowl. Here you can just see the rubberized piece. There's this little, I don't know, cosmetic air vent. And then you can just see the three pieces along the side. It's nothing too fancy. I think it sharpens up the look of the bike. So I do like it a lot. I just think it's certainly overpriced. Any of you guys out there who might have one of the aftermarket uh, eBay versions or wherever you source it, do let me know in the comments what you think about it. I'm really curious. Uh, I know they do look a little different. Some of them have a couple extra features. So you might make your decision based on cosmetics alone based on price alone, based on maybe paint matching, especially if you have a color that's not black. And it's actually been about two years since I've been to the track, and here you'll see that I have the luggage rack attached as well as my rear fender, but when you have those removed, this is a really sharp addition to your rear end, especially you guys who might have the fender eliminator kits um, and have that sportier look. It's going to look really nice. That's all for now. If you haven't, please consider subscribing to this channel. I've got a ton of other CBR650F content that hopefully you'll find useful. Um, I appreciate the views and I'll see you all next time.